In this video, we want to find the limit as x and y approaches to zero of this function. So just by looking at this, it doesn't seem like the limit's going to exist. I get zero over zero, and there's no good way of factoring and canceling things out. So what I'm going to do is approach zero, zero from different paths and hope that I find two different limits. So the first thing I'm going to do is let y equal x squared. And the idea is that if y is x squared, we have x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. And then this would be x squared squared, which is also x to the fourth. So in the denominator, you'll have some x to the fourth, and then numerator is x to the fourth, and that will cancel. So we replace the y's with x to the four, with sorry, x squares. And then now we're going to um, do x squared squared is x to the fourth. x to the fourth plus 4x to the fourth is 5x to the fourth. And then x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. At this point, we can cancel out the x to the fourths and be left with e to the x squared over, over 5. If I let x equal 0 now, this is going to 1 over 5. Now we want to find another path, so why don't I just let y approach x. So we're going the path y equals x, rather. And so we're going to substitute for every y, substitute, substitute that with x. And then we have x squared times x is x to the third. And the denominator I can factor out at x squared. And now I can cancel out the x squared and cancel out the 3. So we have x times e to the x over x squared plus 4. Now I let x equal 0. So this, the numerator is going to be 0, denominator is going to be 4, and so the limit is 0. So from two different paths, I found the limit was 1 fifth and 0. And so because there are different limits, we can conclude that this limit does not exist.